Well, hey there, sweet peas. Just give me a moment. Okay. The game is hopefully. Ooh. I let's see. All right. This Hey there, sweet peas. And welcome to one of the greatest games ever made. I'll let you listen. As you can see, Freddy Fish in the case of the stolen conch shell. Now, the last few days I've been in a sort of undersea mood. So, I've, I figured, why not just play one of the greatest games of all time? Now, some people may see this and say, oh, you're mildly childish for playing this game. But if you would say that obviously your heart is not filled with love and kindness and happiness like mine that's why I'm playing Freddy Fish and you're not so let's get started one of the main gameplay as aspects of, one of the main aspects of the gameplay in this is you can kinda click on stuff well if that doesn't just take a piss on my rectum, I don't know what does, you know? And speaking of rectums... <laughs> look at that. I mean, you always knew you'd have fun with this, but not that much. Alright, so let's talk to Sam. Well, as you can see, the humor is spot on. Wouldn't be out of place in an Adam Sandler movie. Alright, let's go. Like they say, if there's an arrow, you better follow it. Alright. But, when I try to go this way, there's a problem. So this is how the gameplay works. You click on stuff. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. They drag out the dialogue a lot. And it's over. I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, no, sir. All right. I'd better hold on to this. You know what, I'm going to start talking the over them there. I'm a, honestly, I can't even believe I'm doing this. So, you know, that's bad enough as it is, but... Oh, this game's a piece of shit. As you can see, this was before microphones were invented, so... Everyone sounds like they have a cock down their throat. What are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great but was stolen. The just as it starts to seem lighthearted. How could they do this to Uncle Blenny? Here, here's a Uncle, diagram of the conch shell. Uncle Blenny. The priceless conch has three golden pipes, but they Poor both have fallen Blood. out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. Oh, let's look There's at these Phil sluts. Parker, oh. Maybe in the narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the tailor, and Horse Feathers the tourist. It was Horse Feathers. Horse Feathers killed Julius Caesar. 
he fucked his asshole after he was dead too. He took each one of his horsey feathers and shoved it in all of his stab wounds. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend Freddy Fish. You realize Freddy's the only hope. Your nephew doesn't really do anything useful. Look at this. Oh, good job, Wilbur. Alright. So, the storyline's been established. We gotta prove Uncle Blenny's innocent. How do we do that? We travel the world and we click on stuff. Now this is about the time I start having an anal orgasm. When they bring in the shark, oh, well, let's just put it this way, all the scales in my butthole start to get rigid. Let's just leave them alone. Now the only people in the world are the suspects and occasionally a monkey. So we'll, we'll see if he's here, but first we'll grab this shovel. Now, as you can see, Luther does acid. So let's talk to old Mrs. Messick right here. So do you think that a narwhal and a little green fish can find happiness together? Nope. No, not unless you stick that tusk in my anus. Now watch this. Like, this is a cool move. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Yeah, that's what you do. And then you watch him go free. Swell? That makes my cock swell. Oh, but none of the bongs are in here. Oh, wait, yeah. Right there. There's a bong. So, here's what you do. You see, it's just a bunch of luck, really. I'll be here for hours, probably. That's the one I need. Let's see. Yep, all right. We can start baroning it up. The golden bombs. See, they're just so covered in the cum of the suspects that, you know, old Soggy can lick it and taste this. Taste it. See if, see who truly is the disgusting thief. It's definitely not that old pedophile bastard Uncle Blenny. Luckily, he's capable of speaking slutty dog. Now, this is honestly one of the best parts of the game. You can watch some strippers perform songs right here. This is my favorite. One of them. Now that actually ranks among my top 10 favorite songs of all time. This is my other favorite. I'm gonna swim with my... Now that is my action. That's my number one favorite song of all time. Although these other three are quite good too. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
Now there's a hidden lyrical message in there. It means she wants you to join her in the bottom of the sea. Believe it or not. What other ones do we have? Ooh, this one's a good one. He's a cool dude, right there. He's he's a bro. Okay, I don't like this one. Oh fuck! No, you might notice actually a recurring theme in all of these songs. What it is, is they have the desire for you to perform the underwater sniff upon them. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of the underwater sniff, this is probably the best time I could ever explain it to you. The underwater sniff is where you stick your nose in a vagina and you just snort all of the liquid out of it. It's it's really something I'd recommend. They brought a carnivore to nope. them for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Uh, all right, this game's actually going by. Okay. Those two just deserve to get shoved up someone's asshole. Pieces of shit. Fuck. They're so fucking annoying. The dirty old retarded fish. You slip roofies in each other's tootsie rolls just to make sure they don't fuck their own parents. Alright, let's take the other path. The path of the pig. Oh. Shit. This is this is the kind of good shit you need. All right. See, if you get enough of these, you can actually melt them down and make yourself some nice purple drink. That way, you can escape the pain of this piece of shit game. But for the moment, we only have one. Oh, you're gonna love this, Rudy. Listen to this fucktard. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am Horse Feathers, I am. Down the hall on your right, the powder room is. Oh. I suspect that Never mind. doesn't quite have the hang of using that phrase for This This game actually changes, like... It changes what it intends to do sometimes. There's a couple different alternate storylines that can happen you have no control over. Sometimes that guy talks like this. Alright. We gotta get making some purple drink. Drink. Now let's meet this guy. He's a cool dude too. Oh. This is the bullies club. Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipe. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't know this, but this is the bullies club. Not the bullies club. Oh, this guy's the president of the Undersea Bullies Club. What are we gonna do? Watch out. 